Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Now, what we are going to discuss in this particular lecture, we are going to design a simple latching circuit in PLC tier portal using ladder logic. Right away, let's create a new project. So our new project is going to be called YouTube Latch. That one is enough. So let's create. So once the new project is created, what we are going to do is to add a new device. So the new device that we are looking for is a CPU and we can use step 7, 1200. We click on this CPU and let's look for a CPU that is suitable. Me, I have chosen that one and make sure that the version that you select is above 4. So once uh, you see uh, it is above 4, mine is 4.5, I'm good to go. I click OK and now wait for the PROC to be loaded and then I start my programming. So my PROC has been loaded. So what I'm going to do is to right away go to program blocks so that I'm able to create a ladder logic for this particular example. So I go to uh, program blocks. I click on main, then ah, this environment comes in where I can uh, draft my ladder logic. So I'm going to add this push button. I'm going to add this push button. Then from here, I'm going to create a branch. Then I add a push button. Then from here, I close. I close with this, then add an out. So what I'm going to do is to name this and by naming this, we shall use tags, and those tags are going to be also assigned addresses. So I got PLC tags, I saw show all, uh, because they are not yet created, I will just create. So let me call uh, the first one to be my push button one. I also create a push button two, and my output is going to be a red. So my output here, uh, you know, Siemens uses I for inputs and uses Q for output. So we use Q, but then it is only one output that I want. So it should be Q 0, 0.0. So I'm through with the making tags. So what I'm going to do is to come back to the main. So I come back to my main. So from here, I'm going to look for my push buttons. Another push button two is here. So now this is going to be my LED. And since my output is required to be latched, I'm also going to make this contact to be reading the same address. And therefore it will take that name. Okay. So what happens is that now I need to check my configurations. So I'm going to come here and check properties for this project. I see the protection status. It is okay. So I go to my PLC and check also the configurations. I got properties. After going properties, I check under general. Then I look for security. So remember, this one must be unselected. Then we go to this one and we give it full access so after giving it full access what we are going to do is we are going to come back to our PLC. we do the compilation so it is compiling compiling and doing plus checking all the configurations that we have made so we come here and do the simulation so if you install the PLC sim this should do come out uh, during the running time so that you're able to uh, see the status of your program. So let's move. So we want to download the program to the controller so that it is able to be configured and then be able to provide or produce the outputs that we have commanded it to produce. So once it's done, we create, we click on load. Okay. If it has been aborted, what we are going to do, we are going to come back here 
and we do the compilation. There are no errors. So what we do, we rerun the simulation. So once we do the configuration, we download. Once we are done with the compilation, we are going to load the device. Load. So once we are done, we click on. We click on start the module. So we are done. So we come back to the main body. And then what we are going to do, in order to simulate this system, we are going to do uh, forcing the inputs, turning them on and off. So we are going to use the watch and force tables. So the force and the, the watch and force table. So we are going to create our push button. We put a uh, push button number two. Then here, remember, we have a lead. So this watch and force table and under force tables, we are going to use it to run our simulation. So we come here and first monitor on and off so that we see whether power is reaching our left rung. So we can see uh, this, I mean the rail, the power rail, uh, we see uh, there is power on it and therefore that means we are ready to simulate our circuit. So what we are going to do is basically to do the latching. So what we are going to do here, we are going to set this one uh, to 1. So when we set this to 1, this one is still false. When we run this, obviously we are going to have an output. So we can see that power is reaching this led. So what happens if we switch off push button if we pull we switch off push button number one so we are going to give it a zero so when we give it a zero we force it to run you can see even when you remove the power via the push button one the system stays on this is what we call latching mechanism whereby the system will maintain a particular state not until a particular condition is met so that means if i go back and for example give push button number two a high then this is going to be off so let's go here and force this you can see now the system goes off so this is what we call a latching mechanism so we have done the latching and we have done the unlatching can repeat by giving this a one and by giving push button number two a low. So let's run this, we shall have power. So let us switch off this push button number number one. We give it a false. So if we give it a false and we force that input, obviously there won't be power on push button number one, but there will still be power stored in the system. So this system is remembering the, the first step. So that is what we call latching. If I give it a, a true, okay, let me first give this a true and maintain this false. So what will happen is that the system, okay, so let's switch. We force a high on push button number two. So you can see this is what we are calling latching. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we can implement a latching mechanism using ladder logic in TIA version 17, step 7, Siemens.